Hey Tubers, it's Pop Boys live from the internet. Just wanted to go over a couple of things that happened during just the past couple of days. So on Friday, November 11th, I basically had seen Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton, uh, if anybody knows who I'm talking about, it's, well, he's been in movies and all that bullshit, but he's he was the helmsman of the Starship Enterprise in one of the Star Trek series. So basically he tweets this out. Oh, look at that. Trump conned his voters. What a shock. I am shocked. This is shocking. Nobody saw this coming. Go and check out his tweets from there. You've got the link there. So I basically retweeted it, and that's what you're seeing here. NASA's officially tripping. The veil is about to be lifted, and it won't be by Hillary. But what I was meaning by that is that now that Trump's in office, he, you know, promised to basically get to the bottom of quite a few things. And if you research conspiracy theories, Trump is in quite a few of them. You know, there's the Illuminati card game. There's these predictions, basically, that somebody's going to reveal the truth. Then we go to this astronaut, literally like an hour, not even an hour after I tweeted, you know, NASA's tripping because the veil's about to be lifted. Ron Guerin, an astronaut from NASA, tweets, I just published an open letter to President-elect Trump. So when you read this letter, it is fucking unbelievable. Like, it just blew my mind. Like, talk about throwing you for a loop. I'm actually going to read part of it to you because you just literally can't believe it. And I'll post a link in the description to this letter because uh, it's quite revealing, actually. So it says, yeah, open letter to President-elect Trump from Ron Guerin, Colonel USAF. And it's interesting, again, that if you've seen my previous videos, I just actually mentioned USAF in one of my recent videos. So I think it's really interesting that this specific astronaut has written this letter. It says, congratulations on your election victory. Thank you for your words of consolation in the early morning hours following the election and your pledge to every citizen of our land that you will, rep that you will president to all Americans. You also reached out to people who did not support you for guidance and help so that we can work together and unify our great country, in quotes. I am one of those people. He goes on to say, as a citizen of this great nation, I respectfully offer guidance on immediate steps that can help start the process to bring everyone together as one united people. First, reconsider your promise to cancel every one of President Obama's executive orders and programs on your first day in office. As a businessman and now as president-elect, you know orderly transitions matter. Cancelling the health insurance of millions of Americans without a fully functioning system to replace it will disrupt, if not destroy, the lives of those who depend on it. Now that part didn't surprise me. Listen to the this next paragraph, okay? Because it's going to fucking blow your mind. He says, consult the science community as you plan. That was one of Trump's uh, deals. As a NASA astronaut who lived and worked in space, I know Earth is not flat, that we live in a highly interrelated and interdependent biosphere, that climate change is real. People so often speculate that if world leaders could see Earth from space like astronauts and cosmonauts do, everything would be different. I believe this is true. Please consider these thoughts from men and women who are among the few who have seen our planet from space. Now I've got to tell you, where the fuck did that come from? Honestly. Where did that come from? Because I haven't heard Trump mention anything about flat earth theory. So honestly, where the fuck did that come from? Well, I think we know, don't we? Basically, then he goes on to say unilaterally pulling out of agreements the United States made with other nations during the uh, COP21 Paris Climate Conference puts America on a dangerous path, threatening the future of the world. In the short term, we'll alienate the other signatories and demonstrate that our words and promises mean nothing. I'm just going to skip forward a little bit too because uh, he mentions the climate here. You, you said during your victory speech, I want to tell the world community that while we'll always put America's interests first, we will deal fairly with everyone, with everyone, all people, and all other nations. We will seek common and ground, not hostility, partnership, not conflict. He says, I assure you that cancelling America's commitment to the 2015 Paris Climate Conference will be seen by the world as an act of hostility and conflict. Okay, so I don't really understand where this astronaut is going. Do you not understand the narrative of this letter? Like, I don't know if it's just me here, but I'm definitely seeing a narrative. I'm seeing an objective. That's the thing that most people have started to notice 
about the whole this protest against Trump. These people are protesting who they the majority voted for, and now you have this this astronaut. Like they are literally freaking out. They don't know what to do. The establishment is tripping when he comes in. Which、uh, there's a lot of people that speculate he may be assassinated before January. And you know, I must I've been saying the same thing. I'm worried about Trump because what he's saying is, is he's going to bring the, these fuckers down. And do you think that they're really going to let that happen? Look at what happened to JFK. Look at what happened. To you know Nixon, to Reagan, you know people that attempt to go against the flow always end up with people retaliating. So another thing that I was going to say about this Trump protest is you'll notice like this, you know it's it's all over the social media. I believe that it's being exaggerated. There's so much fake and phony shit on the internet, particularly on the social media. It's it's just become unreliable, and you can't judge a small few. For the majority, they chose. They voted. They chose who they wanted because this is exactly what Trump promised he would do, and now he's fulfilling it. And Hillary's people are freaking. NASA is tripping out. They don't know what they're going to do because they're going to have a lot of explaining. They, they, they you know, this is what he's was saying. Is he just he wants proof of everything? You know, why isn't there a twenty-four hour live feed? Why isn't there? There's so many questions that you can go on. One doesn't know where to begin. So, anyways, I just want. To bring that attention to this letter, and I just thought it was really funny because for the astronaut to even bring up, like normally they won't address flat Earth theory. That's what I mean. Normally, if you know, just it's it's bullshit, right? You're just not even going to pay attention to it. So even addressing it kind of shows you like they're worried, like something is changing, something is going on. So anyway, is、uh, let me know what you think about this letter from the from the astronaut to Trump. Please comment, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Keep the chat going there. Thanks for watching, guys.